Hello there again. Airstream Jeep and now Land Cruisers. I just decided to add the Land Cruiser to our page in our YouTube channel because we're doing so much to the Land Cruiser lately. I got this backup camera because the V-Line 2 Grom is working fabulously with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I got this off Amazon specific to the 100 Land Cruiser because it takes the place of one of the license plate lights. And that seems like a great install. No drill, not that you know, I'm afraid of drilling, I just think this is a great location for it. It's gonna replace one of these lights. I think I'm gonna go with the one on the left. I already replaced these LED, they're super simple. You just pop them out, stick the LED lights in there. But this is gonna go in there and uh, it's going to go, the wiring's gonna go here, here, up through that grommet right there. Come down here. I may decide to go that direction on the top. I've seen some YouTube videos where people have gone along the top, and I've seen others where they've come down behind the seat, under the plastic, all the way up. And I might do that too. My Grom is located in the glove compartment, so it may make more sense to just go across here, down here, and then up. But uh, I'll decide that when I get to it. But now, to tackle the hardest part, get all this stuff out and get this thing in here. Oh, by the way, I got this new sign. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> so here we go. I don't want to hurt the leather strip in here, that's for sure. We need our leather strip. Leather strip. So once this is fished through, then it's time to put the RCA RCAs through. So I'm doing one at a time. I fish this one through, and then I'll attach this to this and fish it through because I don't think they'll both get through there. Okay, so the easiest way to fish these through, a 10 millimeter bolt right there, just loosen it a little bit, and that loosens that metal plate so you can get the, uh, the RCAs through. So here's the difference between the OEM and the camera. If you can see, get it closer. The, the tab right here that slips up in the, on the metal is not as big as the OEM one. It's thinner. The OEM one is sticks out further for than this one does. So double-sided tape is what it'll be. Okay, now that I got my Gorilla tape on there, and all the corners, all the sides, and, and I'm not sure how many pounds that Gorilla tape is, but uh, it's just something I can throw in. I'll put it in there now. And the camera's facing the right way. Remember it goes on this side and not this side. So this is staying, I got the double sided tape holding it in, I ran the wires, fished them over to here, from there, which was really simple. Underneath this panel, I didn't just put this panel all the way back in yet, I guess, let's see if it looks that, that one, that pin right there needs to go in, move that over, done, whoops, done that one. Well, that one's, ah, oh, shoot. I'm gonna stick that back up in there. Ah, I ran the wires down here. Somebody was able to get it in there in another video, but I don't know how. So I gotta make sure that grommet gets back around that. Um, zip line, and it goes in through that grommet there. It comes out under here, runs all the way down here. Now the two, the hot and the ground, I fish through here and attached them to the backup light, the ground and the hot wire. Put this back on, put that back on. And then I took the video cam
cable and just threw it to the front to make sure it was going to work. It barely reaches, by the way. So let me go to over here. I got my phone plugged in. Give it a second for the radio to turn on. Turned on the volume so it doesn't mess up my video. Now I have it in reverse. Voila. Awesome. 20 year old Toyota Land Cruiser with navigation as a backup camera and Android CarPlay and Apple CarPlay. Voila. Now I just gotta run that cable along the bottom, all the way up and behind the uh, the kick panel there and into the glove compartment. It might be a little bit short, but I'll see if it is. I'll just get an extension, and that's it. Um, you don't want to pound this back in. There's square connectors that go into a square metal slot. If you pound them in like that, you might bend them or break them. So. Put them down gently and tap them lightly. You might have to move them around there and they'll slide in. Don't, don't, don't pound it in. I almost broke a couple of them. And then let's put the screws back in. And just about done. Just button everything back up uh, the door handle. Last thing to go back in, and we're done. I forgot to mention that since I, I just plugged this in here for the moment just to see if it worked before I tucked everybody everything in, this cable just plugs into the backup camera spot, and I don't need to use this because I already have it triggered by the backup light. So this is only use this if you don't have it already triggered for power. And that's it. Enjoy. Hope this helps somebody.